Hey guys, what, what, what's going on? My name is Calvin and uh, I have a new Photoshop tutorial for you. In this video, I like to show you a way how to retouch the skin with Camera Raw. Well, this is not a high-end retouching tutorial. This is not the frequency separation. This is a tutorial where I show you a very great technique if you need a fast way to create a better skin. Well, it's kind of building a skin, what we do right now, but at the end, it's a, it's a mix of the um, new skin and the old skin, and you will get a, a very good result, and you can do that in seconds. All right, so let's take a look at the model. I have a model here, and her skin is, well, it's okay, it's good. She have a good skin. I couldn't find a model uh, who would say, yeah, Kelvin, you can use my bad skin for your tutorial. So I have to use um, this skin, this model, um, but sometimes you have a very horrible skin and then you need a fast way to fix that. And with this technique, what I'd like to show you right now, um, you can do that in seconds. All right, so let's get started. I have my background layer here, so let's duplicate it. And if you do not have a pixel layer here, let's say you have an adjustment layer on top, then you have to bring all the layers together. And there's a big shortcut, what you can use, and I love this shortcut. Just press Shift Alt Command E, or if you are non-professional, press Shift Alt Control E. No, I'm just kidding. I don't care if you're working on PC or Mac. Um, just press the button Shift Alt Command E, and then you can bring all the layers together. And this is my camera raw skin retouching. All right. So the next step, what you have to do right now, you have to work with the script. I'm working uh, right now with Photoshop CS6. I don't know when you will see this tutorial, but at the moment with Photoshop CS6, you can't open a layer in Adobe Camera Raw. Not here. You have to save it at the JPEG, then you can open it in Camera Raw. But I like to open it from here right to Camera Raw. So you need a script, and the name of the script um, is right here, Adobe Camera Raw Editor. Let me show you where you can download this script. You have to visit the website russellbrown.com and right here you have to click on Dr. Brown scripts and then you have to scroll down a little bit and then you will find added layer in Adobe Camera Raw. Download it and make sure you watch the tutorial because you have to do some uh, settings uh, in uh, Photoshop that the script will work. So with this script you are able to open a layer in Adobe Camera Raw. So let me click here, script, Adobe Camera Raw Editor. And now you can see we have this image in Adobe Camera Raw. And it's fantastic because you can do so many great things in Adobe Camera Raw, what is not possible in Photoshop. You, you have more colors, you have the clarity slider, you have the fill light slider, you have similar sliders in Photoshop, but not exactly the same. So let's say you like to add a vignette. It's very easy here. In Photoshop, you need many steps like a selection, feather the selection and much more. So maybe I can do more videos, what you can do with this script, with Camera Raw. But in this video, let me show you the skin retouching. First of all, I like to have a very, very smooth skin. And most of the guys out there try to bring the clarity slider to the left. Well, that's not bad, but, well, I think that's bad. I mean, take a look at the skin. Um, it's, it's not soft, it's, I don't know, I don't like it. So do not use the clarity slider. You can use, um, in the detail section here, the noise reduction. Bring the first slider to the right side to 100 and bring the second slider, the detail slider to the left side to zero. And then you will get a very smooth skin. And this is a skin, maybe you like it. Well, I don't like it because it's a little bit too soft, right? I mean, you can change the opacity, but then it will still look not good. So what I like to add here is a little bit kind of pores, kind of a texture. And you can do this in the FX section here, in the effects uh, section. And you can add here some grain. The problem is with the grain that the grain looks like grain and not like pores. But you can change the slider. If you see a slider, play around. 
um, it's the same what you can do here. So let me play around here a little bit and then you can see um, yeah, the, the style of the grain is a little bit different and then we get a um, yeah, kind of a skin texture. Of course, it's not a skin texture, but you have to think in this way. We do not apply this effect with 100% on the final image. And uh, at the end, we will have a combination of this skin and of the old skin. And this is the reason why I think it will work. All right, let me uh, choose this settings here. So I click OK. And let me zoom in a little bit. And this looks much better, maybe a little bit too much grain. First of all, we apply now a black mask. You can do this by pressing the Alt key and clicking on that little icon here. And then you will not see this layer. And if you choose a brush with a white foreground color, let's uh, say, I think, yeah, 35% is good. And now you can paint back the effect right here. And this is what I do. And if I need a little bit more of this uh, effect of the skin retouching, then I paint again on the same part of the image. And then you can see we will get a very, very good skin. Well, it's not a perfect skin. This is not a high-end retouching uh, technique, but it's a very, very fast way. And it's much, much better than a Gaussian blur or some other blur tools. Well, I do not like to... Uh, use the blur tools, but take a look at the skin. Let's use here a little bit more of this. It gets a little bit softer and I like it. Take a look at the before after and I like the settings. And now here comes the big advantage of this technique. Double click again on the icon here and then you can switch back and forth to change your settings. So if you like to have more grain, you can change it as often as you like. So Adobe Camera Raw is now like a, like a big adjustment layer or like a filter. And uh, you can change the settings whenever you like. And the coolest thing is, if you go to this part here, to the presets, you can save your preset by clicking on that little icon. Then you can choose here, save settings, all the settings, and you can call this skin. Now you have a preset. So let's say you have a new uh, image right here. You open a new file, new face, new skin, and you like to do the skin retouching. Just click on the skin retouching. You have it. Then you can apply a mask and paint back the effect. I like this technique and I use it sometimes when I have a very bad skin. Sometimes I use it for male portraits. Sometimes I use it when I like to have a little bit more grainy skin. And uh, I hope you will like this technique. And don't forget what you need is the um, script from Russell Brown added layer in Adobe Camera Raw. All right, guys, if you like this video, let me know. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.